Hello, my friend, how are you doing? I finally managed to get uh, this level to over 60 FPS. As you can see, well, now it's dipping because I'm recording, but... Uh, well, what's happened since last time in optimizing is that I added uh, point shadow curling, spot shadow curling, and animation curling. I was surprised to see uh, how much uh, animation curling is actually giving you. To if you try to set it off, it dipped down to 55 FPS and on. It goes to about 60 FPS. So that is a great uh, enhancement in the speed and uh, as you can see it uh, found the uh, 85 animation that uh, don't need to be processed so uh, it can skip the animation and that uh, gives a uh, great improvement in the FPS. Also you can't really see this level only have two uh, point shadows in the level so it can call those two but uh, if you have many uh, of those in your level you'll see a great improvement when using uh, point shadow calling. Also everything has been now been separated into its own checkbox so depending on how your level uh, is you can uh, uh, you can uh, disable and enable them per level so you can see what works for you Optic calling, did it? So you can just uh, mix them up as you wish, so you get the best FPS for your games, or disable it all together. Also, in the debugger, you can now see uh, the stars here. They are characters in the scene. And the, these uh, larger dots is now uh, occluded objects. And uh, you, if we can see, where can we see? It? Is there any here? And the sp small dots like this is uh, a parent size cult. So you now see what is going on and. Uh, what gets called and how. Also we can just try another level to see the how the spot shallow calling is working or point shallow calling. Loading level let's see. Here we go. Just go to post processing. We have 47 FPS here. Let's get the occlusion calling going. You can see it goes to 70 FPS. And uh, as you can see, only here all the uh, point shadow calling, uh, you can see whenever the you can see a, a light that has a shadow this light. It then calculates a bounding box for that that goes all the way the shadows can reach. And when they can't, when, if you can't see it, it will call it. Currently we have 13 occluded point shadows. We can try to disable it here. You see how the FPS goes down to 71 or something and up to 76, so it's working pretty well. That's because if we look at this level, I just uh, added some uh, some point shadow light in here and a lot of uh, cartels and uh, some rats and uh, rabbits. So we c I can test uh, how much it gives, like uh, if I'm standing in, the, like in this position. You see I'm getting uh, 70 FPS. Without occlusion, it goes down to 49. And 
just to see how much the animation calling is giving. You can see if I disable it, well, it goes a long way down. So uh, the FPS calling is really giving a lot. And that's because I have so many animation in here. I have around uh, yeah, 50 rats and uh, cats here is around 50. And same with rabbits around uh, 50. So we have a lot of uh, animation going on behind the walls. So that is really giving a lot. Like if we, you can see here, we can just disable it and go way down in the FPS. And here you can see it's culling 165 animation, and that is a lot. It takes a lot of time to process those animations, so uh, it gives a lot of. The same with the shadow culling, it's really also a great. Oh, not spot point. I don't have any spotlights here. You can see that gives uh, well, around 8 FPS. So those new options is uh, really great and they should improve your games uh, a lot. So uh, if you like to support this work and you want me to make more of this, there's still a plenty of thing you can do to get a high FPS in your games and uh, I would love to work more on it but uh, I also need to uh, earn something to pay my bills so um, if you like to support the work please consider it and uh, you can go to the Patreon page and uh, sign up and remember you also get all my other apps so um, you get something for your spendings too